O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt me, many others who rise up against me? Many who say to me, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all who hated me without cause, who have shattered the sinner's teeth. This deliverance is the Lord's, upon your people be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Your arrows have bored into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no soundness in my flesh. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me, and they have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. A stooping and exhausted wreck, I stumbled mourning all the day. My loins were burning with fever, for my life is a total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, even the light of my eyes is plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not, as a dumb man and not opened my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust, who will give heed, O Lord, my God. I said, O that my foe cease to glow over me with lust of my life and might be stumbled. As for me, I am ready to be scourged, and my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who render me evil for good oppose me, but I sought their justice. O Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not far from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not far from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you. My soul is thirsty for you, and oh, how my flesh is hungered for you. Like a desolate and trackless land that has no waste, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled as with choice despair, and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remember you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the healthy one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find your life. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth, and be taken over to the sword, the prey of jackals they shall be. <clears throat> the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches that you became for me the healthy one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find your life. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul is filled with trouble, and my life equals to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down into the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead. Like the slain, left to die in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deeps of the abyss into darkness and shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me and made me loathsome to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead? Or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high and humbled in distress. 
Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me friend and neighbor, and my acquaintance is so wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach out to you. Let your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord of my soul, may all that is within me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all the benefits from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is one of compassion, mercy, long-suffering, and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far has the Lord extended his love to those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As kind as the Father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows how well we were formed, remembers we are only made of dust, a man, his days resemble grass, as a flower of the field so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity to all eternity to those who fear him, and his justice is upon the children of children of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven over all things, his kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all of his angels, you strong and mighty ones, who obey the word on the sounding of his decree. Bless the Lord, all of his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all of his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, of my soul. Bless the Lord, all my soul, in every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer in your truthfulness, give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me, and enter not into judgment with your servants in the sins of all the living, none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down, he has crushed my life to the ground. He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recall the days of old, I meditated on all your deeds, I pondered on the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a level path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction. And in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies. And bring to me not all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer in your truthfulness, give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a level path. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto which the ages I mean. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. Let us pray the Lord. Lord have mercy. For heavenly peace and the salvation of our souls. Let us pray the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world. For the stability of God's holy churches and for the oneness of all. Let us pray the Lord.
and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For temperate weather, abundance of the goods of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be spared all affliction and wrath, danger and want. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and the ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend our Sono 
Christ our God has adopted, passed over into life, and likewise from the earth. To heaven as we now sing, unto him a triumphal hymn. Lefte poma pio men kenon, ukek tetra salon, mulera turbumenon, alla parsia spihim, et tafum brisandos Christum, en noste reum et ha. Come and let us drink a new drink, not one marvelous need issuing from a barren rock, but one that cries from the tomb, pours out in corruption's very source, for we are established in him. Epitis dias filakis o tei goros apatum, stito me fimon te dignito, Paes poron aingeno via prisios legonda, si meron sotiria to cosmo, otian mesti Christos os pando dinamos. Now let Abbaquuk as God-inspired prophet stand with us, keeping his divine watch and show us his Christ, being omnipotent. Or free men or
in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, the close of the end.
look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies through the intercession of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. The power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the unholy bloodless powers of heaven, the supplications of the unholy and glorious prophet and former John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and technical teachers, based in the great Gregory the Theologian and John Chrysostom. Athanasius, Cyril John Wonsipur Patriots of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Myra, Spiritual of Bishop of Trinitulos, Nectarius of Pentapolis, the Wonder Workers, the Holy, Glorious, Great Martyr, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Marbolite, Theodore of Tyran and Theodore the General, Menas the Wonder Worker, the Hero Martyrs, Haralamos and Eleftherios, the Holy, Glorious and Victorious Martyrs, the glorious great martyr and all Lord of Euphemia, the holy and glorious martyr Stekla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskiri, and Irene, of our holy God, the His fathers, the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Jacob, and Anna, the holy apostle Thomas, whose touching the Lord we celebrate and the glorious saints. We beseech you, only merciful Lord, Hear us sinners who pray to you and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Oh, 
your grace and magnify you.
out of his greatness. O giver of life, you did not break the seals that secured your tomb. And likewise, after the awesome rising from the sepulchre, you hindered and in the room where your glory was apostles, where the doors being shut, O Christ, and you caused them to rejoice, and you granted them your governing. O Holy Spirit, for mercy, Your name. 
Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to man enjoy his favor. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to man enjoy his favor. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will speak out your praise. Blessed is the kingdom.
suffering the deputies and for their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. Keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, for the saints, let us commit ourselves unto one another and our whole life to cross. Let the peoples give thanks to you, O God. Let all the people. 
Oh, 
Great is our Lord, great is his power. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. In those days, many signs and wonders were done among the people by the hands of the apostles, and they were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the rest dared to join them, but the people held them in high honor. And more than ever, believers were added to the Lord, multitudes of both men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and pallets, that as Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on some of them. The people also gathered from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those afflicted with unclean spirits, and they were all healed. But the high priest rose up, and all who were with him, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, they arrested the apostles and put them in the common prison. But at night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out and said, Go and stand in the temple and speak to the people. Forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my side, and do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written that you may believe. 
that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in His name. Glory to Later, about 70, 80 years later, 
in the 1980s, his theory was finally scientifically proven as true, and now is considered one of the greatest scientific theories. But before seeing it, Einstein believed it. He believed that his theory was true. I'm telling you these stories today because as you can see, beloved children, the founding fathers of the United States of America believed without seeing the reality of an independent country. The Wright brothers, in the same way, believe without seeing the reality of an earthquake. And eventually the reality came. In the same way, Albert Einstein believed in the theory of general relativity, and eventually his theory was proven as true. In this gospel, we hear our Lord Jesus Christ telling Thomas, who said, Unless I put my finger in the print of the mark, in the, in the print of the nail, the mark of the nail, and I put my hand in the side of the Lord, I am not going to believe. And the week later, the Lord appeared again to the apostles and told Thomas, Come and touch me. And now Thomas, when he saw the Lord, he said, My Lord and my God. And the Lord tells him, Thomas, you believe because you have seen it. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Because indeed, without children, when we believe without seeing the reality of what we believe, we could achieve great things. Do not believe those who tell you that unless you see, smell, or can touch it, it doesn't exist. History and science proves this wrong. The greatest people achieve the greatest things because they believe before seeing. And because they believed, eventually what they believed in became a reality. It is the same in our relationship with God. God is a lot bigger than our mind could comprehend. I remember once watching a documentary about the universe. You know, I have to confess to you that that documentary was about an hour. After that hour, I ended up with a headache. Literally, I was having a headache because my mind was too small to understand what we know to science now and how big the created universe is. If what God created is so big, so empty, that we cannot understand with our mind, how could we try to understand God who created everything, who is beyond and behind everything with our mind? God is a lot bigger than our mind could ever comprehend. That's why we believe without seeing in this much bigger reality of God. Because we know that He is real. We know in our heart that He is real. As the founding fathers knew in their heart that they would have a free country. As the Wright brothers knew in their hearts that they could fly. As Albert Einstein knew in his heart that the theory of general relativity is true as Martin Luther King Jr. believed and had a dream that there would be there would be one day when people will be free and all of us will have the same rights in the same way. We believe in our in our hearts, we know in our hearts that there is a God much bigger than we could understand with our minds, and thus, by believing in Him, we connect with Him, and we become one with Him. Amen.
glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. And grant that always God be by your power, which glory to you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages.
παραλούν και γης ορατώνται πάντων και αοράτων, και εις έναν Κύριον Ιησού Χριστόν, τον Υιόν του Θεού τον Μονογενή, τον Ε του Πατρός γεννηθέντα προπάντων των αιώνων, φως εκ φωτός, θεών αληθινών, εκ Θεού αληθινού, γεννηθέντα ου ποιηθέντα, ομοούσιον το Πατρί διού τα πάντα εγένου. Το δι ημάς τους ανθρώπους και διά την ημετέραν σωτηρίαν, κατελθόντα εκ των ουρανών και σαρκωθέντα εκ Πνεύματος Αγίου και Μαρίας της Παρθένου και να ανθρωπίσαντα, σταυροθέντα και υπέρ ημών επί ποντίου πιλάτου και παθώντα και παθέντα, και αναστάντα τη τρίτη ημέρα κατά τας γραφάς, και ανερχόντα εις τους ουρανούς και καθεζόμενον εκ δεξιών του Πατρός, και πάλι ερχόμενον με τα δόξης κρίνε ζώντας και νεκρούς, ού της βασιλείας ού έστε τέλος. Και εις το Πνεύμα το Άγιον, το Κύριον, το Ζωριόν, το Εκ του Πατρός εκπορευόμενον, το Συν Πατρί και Υιό συμπροσκυνούμενον και συνδοξαζόμενον, το Λαλίσαν διά των προφητών, εις μίαν Αγίαν καθολική και αποστολική εκκλησίαν, ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα εις άφησιν αμαρτιών, προσδοκώ Ανάσταση νεκρών και ζωήν του μέλλοντος αιώνος. Αμήν. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, to whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us on the conscious Father and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand, well, let us stand in all, let us be attentive, that we may offer the holy offering in The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit, let us lift up our Which you are pleased to accept from our hands 
even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the children and seraphim, six wings, many eyes, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying,
Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners of whom I am first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and deed, of knowledge and ignorance. And make me worthy to partake without condemnation of your holy communion, for the remission of my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Of your mystical supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of your mystery to your enemies, neither will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like a thief I will confess to you, remember me, O Lord, in your kingdom. May the communion of your holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of soul and body. Forgive me, forgive me.
now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God, our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who is risen from the dead, and good, loving, and merciful God, have mercy on us and save us. Through the intercessions of His most pure and holy Mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and foreign John the Baptist, the holy, glorious and triumphant and praiseworthy apostles, the glorious and triumphant martyrs, our holy and God-bearing fathers, the holy and righteous ancestor Joachim and Anna, of St. Basil the Righteous, whose memory we commemorate today, and of all the saints. Amen. Christos Anesti. Christ is risen. Christos Ambiat. El Messiacam. Christum Gyal. Le Christ is resuscitated. Christos is risen. Christ is risen. Christos was pressed. I forgot about that one, I'm sorry. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Christ is risen from the dead by the
we are faithful. We see our Lord Jesus Christ in this gospel telling his apostles, appearing to his apostles who were behind locked doors for fear of the Jews. And the Lord appears to them and tells them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. I preach to you so much during Great Land about dying to ourselves, about getting into this, in this basic regimen of learning to put to death our passions and desires so that we could be brought back to life to a new and resurrected life. During Great Land, we were in street training like the acids. Now, after the resurrection, is the time when the church asked us to come from the locked doors, or to come from behind the locked doors, and not to be afraid of anything anymore, because now we were resurrected to a new life. We conquered upon death. Together with our Lord, we put to death. The sin that so easily ensnares us and keeps us happy and afraid. Now we are free. And we are resurrected for new life. And we are not afraid to speak the truth. Because we know that we are resurrected to a new life. The Lord came to the afraid apostles behind the locked doors. And he told them, peace be with you. In English, unfortunately, we don't have a better word. In Hebrew, the word for peace is shalom. In Greek, in the original New Testament, the word is iri. Both the Old Testament Hebrew, shalom, and the New Testament Greek, irini, which are translated with peace, do not mean peace. They mean something much deeper than peace. They mean to have it together. They mean togetherness. To have it fully and completely together within you, with the world around you, and with God. And the result of that is peace. But it is a peace with stability courage and power because you are together with you. You are not broken into pieces because of sin, because of worries, but you have it together. This is what Christ came to give to his afraid apostles. This kind of peace, this kind of strong togetherness that moves us forward. Because the next words that the Lord told his apostles were, As the Father has sent me, I also send you. I give my, the Father sent me, I also send you. Another Greek meaningful word, apostolo, that was translated with send, it means, apo, it means from, Tell all this to send, but they speak together, and the one who is sent stays in touch with the one who sent him. Apostle. It gave in English the Greek word apostle. Apostle is one who is sent with a mission, is one who is sent by somebody to accomplish the mission of the one who sent him. Apostle. Another English word that we, have, that we have for this is missionary, from the Latin root mito mitere, which means the same thing, to send with a goal, with a mission. This is what Christ came to give to his apostles after the, after the resurrection. Togetherness, peace with inner strength, so that they could go into the world and present God and transform the world into the kingdom 
of heaven. And this is why God sent you and me into the world. To have God within us, to put sin to death within us, so that we could become prophets and we could speak the truth without being afraid that, you know what? Maybe they have something to say against me. They have nothing to say against me because by the grace of God, I could sin to death in my body and in my life. And I'm not afraid. I could not be uh, manipulated with anything because sin was put to death in my life. And God is within me, and I can speak the truth. Sometimes people think of Christians as being, you know, this lowly and not saying anything, you know, type of persons. Our Lord Jesus Christ read the Gospels. At least half of each of the Gospels is arguments that the Lord had with the religious and political leaders of the day because they were so proud. And he was not afraid to speak the truth. Even when he was before Pontius Pilate, for a few minutes he kept silent, but then he spoke the truth because he came to speak the truth in this world. As Christians, we are called to bear witness. As Christians, we are called to be apostles, to hang together within us and to work together with God to bring His love, His justice into this world. We are called to work together with God to transform the world. This is what the apostles say. This is what we hear the angel telling the apostles of the early church after being in prison. The angel goes with, we see, we hear this in this epistle reading from the end of the apostles how after the apostles being arrested in Jerusalem, the angel went and freed them and, and, told, and told them, go stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of this life. Speak the words of life. This is what we are called to do. We are not called to judge the world or to prove the world that I am right and you are wrong. We have enough of that message in Christianity in the last few centuries. And this is why the world is sick of time of that message. Go and speak the words of life. Go and speak to those who are afraid, who are struggling with anxiety, with worries. Give them peace, togetherness. Give them life. We live trouble and worry Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christos Anesti. Christos Anesti. Christ is risen. We have only four people all together in church, but I want the three of you here in church and, and you who are watching from home, from wherever you are, to proclaim a this from the bottom of our heart and with courage. Christ is risen. Truly is risen. God bless you, are faithful. I want to thank you for praying together with us on this first Sunday after the resurrection dedicated to St. Thomas, who was disappointed. And for a week, he didn't believe. And then he saw the Lord, and he believed. And he believed to the ends of the world. According to what we know from the life of the early church, Thomas, were the fathers of all of the apostles to preach 
Shijadasa. He went all the way to India to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is why until today we have an ancient Christian church in India because of St. Thomas who believed after he saw, blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. Kronyaka, blessed name day to all the Thomases and the Thomais who are celebrating their name day today. God bless you and may the Lord give you the peace, the ring that he gave to St. Thomas on that day when he appeared to the apostles to preach the gospel yourself, to become an apostle yourself. All of you are faithful. By the grace of God, next Sunday we'll get together again at 845 for Matthews, at 10 a.m. for Holy Liturgy. And again, God willing, next Sunday our services will be live streamed on the Facebook page of our church and then upload, uh, uploaded on the YouTube channel of our church. I want to thank Rick for chanting today, Jerry for helping the Holy Lord, and Jenny for being behind the camera. God bless you, and uh, as I announced before, I announce again, if you want to light a candle in church, please just email the church office or leave a message on the church phone and let us know how many five-day candles and when you would like them lit and send your check to the church or, or uh, make a donation on the general donation button on the website of our church and we will light the candle for you. For stewardship donations, please send your checks to the church. Use, use the stewardship button on the homepage of the church or make a direct deposit. Christos Alessi. Christ is risen. Truly is risen. God bless you. God be with you. And I'll see those of you who want to connect on the Zoom adapted meeting. We'll see you in a few minutes. God bless you.